What up, what up, everybody? Good evening. Now, I meant to talk about this yesterday, but I was tired from work. And now, a little bit feel more wide awake this time, man. And if you don't know it by now, you probably heard the, the big news this week, well, in terms of gaming news, is that uh, micro Xbox is to buy Activision Blizzard. Which is a huge, huge, huge move. Now, I'm going to give, like, you know, my thoughts about it. And then, you know, talk about consumers' thoughts. And, you know, what it means, you know, for the, comp the gaming company. But I saw this on IGN when I was at work the other day. And I was like, wait, what? So, let, let, let's, um, let's, go. let's go ahead and like, read this article real fast. So, Xbox has announced a deal to buy Activision Blizzard, the company behind Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, many other major gaming franchises coming in. And it uh, stop, stop flying. 68.7 billion, which I am so fucking broke. I wish I had that type of money, my god. Announced on Xbox Wire, the deal means Xbox will soon own the likes of Call of Duty, Warcraft, Overwatch, Diablo, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, and much more. CEO of Microsoft, uh, CEO of Microsoft Gaming, Phil Spencer, announced that all Activision Blizzard companies will report to him after the deal is closed. No time scale has been given for how long the deal will take to close. It's likely that the deal will be examined as to whether it creates a monopoly before it's formal uh, formal approved. Spencer confirmed that Activision Blizzard will continue to, to run as an independent company until the deal is complete. Blah, blah. Oh, CEO. Okay, and by the way, um, CEO of Activision Blizzard, Bobby Kotick, apparently he's dropped down. He's uh, opted out of this. Well, not out of this, but like he decides, you know, leave, which, you know, after what happened, you mean kind of have to. It's like a piece of shit. Um, as expected, Spencer says Xbox will include as many Activision Blizzard games as we can in the Xbox Game Press services. No word has been made out about about turning the likes of Call of Duty of other other mega franchises and Xbox Xbox exclusives, which that's gonna happen. But with the likes of Bethesda, Starfield becoming a first party exclusive, it feels more than impossible. So yeah, and you guys are gonna get just a bit of all that. So yeah, man. Um, and I'll say this. When the Xbox One was released, when it was coming out, I'm like, okay, there's really nothing I want on that system. Like, I'm just like, yo, like, there's no, like, there's no games I want. Like, only care about anything in the new Halo. That was pretty much it. But, um, but other than, like, I, you need to get a system for more than two games. So I feel like Xbox One, a lot of people were saying, like, oh, okay, no, no really games on this system. Like, no one part of me buying this, right? So then you get to fast forward to last year with uh, Microsoft announcing Game Pass, which is a very good thing, very good uh, deal, which, I mean, I will give Microsoft credit for starting that, like, the Netflix of gaming, that was a huge, huge, uh, huge, huge uh, step up right there. The only thing that I had problem with that was that, um, those are their advertising that more than their actual system, so it's like, hey, forget about our system, we have Game Pass, because, I mean, even with Xbox One and Xbox Series X, not that many games, but they, you know, the same last year, um, they bought out Bethesda, and now fast forward to here, now they're now they bought out um, Activision Blizzard, which shout out to Eric because Eric would say, "Yo, Microsoft is doing some big things," and at the time I was like, "Yeah, I like Game Pass, but like I don't, I don't see any other thing." This one right here is this is way bigger than Bethesda, but okay, let's go, let's talk about this real fast. Now, Activision Blizzard. Employees wise, it's been shit for them. It, it, they have, Activision Blizzard has not been a good company to work for lately because we all know what was going on. We're not going to get into all that, but the, the, the head of the people that were pieces of shit. Um, there was a lot of horrible shit that was going on. But now, under Microsoft, get to a clean slate. So now, you know, forget all the bad things. I mean, I'm not saying you should forget about them, but it's like, hey, we're going to start all over again. We're going to start. We're going to make things right. So hopefully for the employers there, it will be a lot better couple place to work at, so very good for the employers. Now, as the, people that know Activision Blizzard, I mean, Call of Duty, um, World of Warcraft, Overwatch, all those games, right? Microsoft is definitely the play. Oh well, shit! <laughs> I just noticed I have my uh, the Challenge All Stars to in the background right there, but it's already too late. Uh, Actually, you know, let me let me just uh, get this off area now. Um, <laughs> already have right there, but um, yeah, um, we all know that as vision as you know, Overwatch, Call of Duty, which I'm not a big Call of Duty guy. Like I, 
it's a good franchise and everything, but it's just not for me. Now, Microsoft is definitely, you know, the king of first-person shooter games. You can definitely say that, because when it comes to the controller, come to this controller, yeah. Um, better for better for uh, shooting games. Fighting games, eh, not so much. But you, you, you guys know what I mean. But um, let's look at it as game-wise, right? Microsoft now has a shitload of games now. Because that, that's always been the thing about Xbox. It's like, there's not many games on there. There's not many games on the row. Now they have a bunch of games now to add onto their catalog, including Game Pass. So eventually we're going to start seeing, you know, some of Pro Skater, Overwatch, all the other games on a Game Pass. So the Game Pass is going to be even more, it's going to be even better than before. As Now, probably going to take a year for this deal to actually be, like, be completed. And speaking of the deal, this had to take, this had to be discussed, like, you know, years, because it only takes, you know, about a year or so for a company to, uh, to, uh, to let you know, officially merge or buy another company. So it definitely was a, a, a move, it definitely was a long time, it was definitely was in the progress of, of, of a long time doing it, you know, if that doesn't make any sense, but it was in progress for a very long time. But now, you know, game-wise for me, uh, okay, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, don't play it. <laughs> um, Blizzard games, um, now, in term, Overwatch, I like, but I have not played that game in so long, but I had it for the PS4. Diablo 3, I had it for the Switch, right? So here's my, here, here can be the concern for me, right? Especially for a consumer, right? Now, suppose if the next Diablo game, right, it's Couch Co-op. Me, I'm a couch co-op guy. Like, I love couch co-op. Now, if it's couch co-op, it might be what it might, it might be rethinking about getting an Xbox because you know we have form choice right there now. Correct me if I'm wrong. Somebody, I don't know if you're able to do. Uh, think of this. This is. I mean, I have a PC. I'm not really quite sure if I'm able to do couch co-op before Xbox controls on a connect to a PC. I don't know if that's possible. Somebody write in the comments if, if that's even possible. I would love to know. But yeah, if I'm going to want to play a couch co-op game for Diablo 3, the new Diablo game, I might have to buy a new system. And honestly, there's other people that you know that are probably not into Xbox or not into um, PCs, PCs because nowadays we're in a generation of you know people are going towards PC. I mean, I have a PC. That's why I'm able to play uh, Halo. Thank God, because like I said. And there's not many games I want to Xbox Series like X. I mean, I'm sorry, but it, it really isn't. But I mean, with this move right here, though, I mean, Jesus Christ. Like, like I said, Blizzard games, a lot of people are using PC. So, I don't know. I mean, granted, if they have Overwatch on the PS4, yeah, on the, on the PlayStation, I mean, that could suck for them in the future because who who's to say that eventually they might cut off the net, the uh, internet service for, uh, not saying they're gonna call it internet service for Sony, but like you know, suppose you have Overwatch, you play it on the PS4, but that that's shut down. Like you, you can't play Overwatch on the uh, PlayStation anymore. Either you go, either had to go on a PC or an Xbox. So that could uh, that could hurt in the long run. Um, God, I have some other things to say. Um, listen, so Blizzard games on a PC. I mean, most games people play on the PC. So I don't think they're gonna be. I think they'll be fine. Um, Call of Duty. That might be a bit tricky because a lot of people are like, like are going to PC route. Like I said, Xbox is the king of uh, first-person shooter games. Now for Sony people, that could be tough. Um, oh man, that, that's they're gonna have this thing because do I really? Now if you have a PC, you're okay, you're fine. But if you don't, you're like, man, I want to get this game. I don't have an Xbox. I'm not, if I have a I, oh, okay. You don't have a PC or have an Xbox. That's gonna be uh, that's gonna be troubling for you because you're, you're, you're gonna be like, okay, what do I do? Do I buy this on the PC or buy this on Xbox? Because I believe a PC can hold more storage, so but it's more money. So for consumer, it's definitely gonna be tough for consumers. Now, one thing that I feel so is gonna be tough for people is, is Crash. Um, Crash is we Crash was just on every system just recently now. The newest one. Even the remakes were on every system. But like now, with Microsoft buying them out, that that could that could be that could be trouble for some people because I have no, I have some friends that have, either have a Switch or a PS4 or any other Sony system. 
Now we're gonna be like, God dang, I love Crash. But he's gonna be on Xbox only. I'm fucked now. Like I said, it's potentially more money. And you know, <laughs> Microsoft wants to make money, you know, and also, you know, competition too. Competition. More money for us, because now Sony and Nintendo can get these guys now. So, it was a big power move by them. And also, the other thing that really, you know, the only thing that really touched me on that is that, you know, if there's, there's going to be a new Killer Instinct game, you, have, you can have a bunch of guest characters right there from Diablo, uh, World of Warcraft. I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I don't, okay, don't put Crash, because as much as I would love to see Crash in a fighting game, I don't want to see him getting killed or being fall off somewhere. I, well, then again, he does. He dies a bunch of time in Crash be, in, in the Crash game anyway. So, but you you know what I mean. I'm also Spiral be on Xbox now too. So, it's gonna be tough, man, for the consumers. It's gonna be tough. Um, that's why that's that's where the negative comes from because it's like, yeah, dang, I, I gotta buy another system now because I was already fine. Now I want to play Crash or Spiral. Now I gotta, I gotta buy this now. I'm gonna look at the uh, catalog of what you know, Microsoft, you know, you know every Xbox First Party Studio by IGN.com. They have a lot: Worlds Edge, Undead Labs, uh, Compulsion Games, Ninja Theory, uh, Rare, Turn 10, Playground Games, uh, 343 Industries, um, Arcade Studios, Machine Games, Tango GameWorks. The, li the list goes on, guys. The list goes on. I mean, I'm not gonna say every game, but it's. Just, it, coming, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. Obviously, Blizzard, <laughs> Blizzard World Entertainment. Like, the list goes on and on and on and on. And so, like I said, you, we need this. We need this out. I mean, I understand people were laughing, were laughing at Xbox due to their showcase last year. You know, showing you know uh, the new Halo and the new um, was it last year? Yeah, it was last year. No, was it 2020? I can't remember now. No, it was 2020. Was it? 20? Yeah, it was 2020. Actually, yeah. Oh my god, it feels like it was last year. It was like two years ago. People were like, "Uh, oh, really? I don't really know." But now I fast forward to like, yeah, you can't be laughing at us anymore because right now we're like we're changing the game right now. Like they, like I said, the gamepad is gonna be around for a very, very long time. So shout out to them for doing that. And now buying out uh with this stuff, buying out. Activ Act uh, Activision Blizzard, like, they are making moves. And now I think also, also saw on IGN that Sony Cyber reportedly drops 20 billion after Xbox Activision builds a Blizzard announcement. So you're also looking at Sony and it's like, god dang Sony, and shout out to Max, he said to himself, like, what is Sony gonna do? What is Sony gonna do? And he, he brought up brought up two companies he can see Sony buy-in, which I 1000% agree. He sees them buying out Capcom. I mean, he got Street Fighter V. I mean, Sony and, and uh, Capcom, you, you, that you could definitely see. And Sony and uh, Sony and Square Enix. Because, I mean, Square Soft was on Sony at first, so bring it back, bring it back, have a nice family reunion right there. Those companies, I can definitely see Sony buying out, which, you know, if Sony wants to retire, be, if it wants to retire, be like, oh, we got this. I mean, I'm sure Sony can't sit here and be like, God dang, man, what do we do? Like, they, they have to have something planned. Like, if they don't, uh, man, like I said, I'm not, I'm not a fan, but I'm not saying F Xbox or F Sony. I'm more of a Sony guy, but you really got to give it up to uh, Microsoft by making this deal right now because... Every everybody's shook right now. Every, everyone's shook. It's it's definitely the biggest news that we got this week. Um, I just think it's gonna be tough for some people that's like you know, God dang, now I gotta buy this system and want to buy buy Spyro. I mean, if you have a PC, it does save you the money. It really does. Cause like I said, everyone's going to the PC gaming route right now, and you know, and and, and the Game Pass. I feel like the Game Pass is gonna last longer than you know. Their, their Xbox Series X, obviously, like that's that's no brainer. But I mean, yeah, man, I was surprised to see, to see this. Um, so it doesn't affect me too much, because like I said, I like Crash, I like Spider, I, like, I have a PC, so I mean, it doesn't really affect me. But you know, there's still a lot of people that that don't have a whole whole lot of system. They don't get big file, like maybe like 
one system and now they're like oh man i want to i want to uh either it's 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 a lot to, it's a lot to think about because i just feel so i just feel bad for people to have to buy another system to get the, to buy a game that they want on there because like i said i feel so the crash one and that could be true i feel so the crash one might be the biggest thing for people because you know crash is on every system now active now it's now it's owned by microsoft now so you need to buy a PC or or you get get someone to build it. But I mean, like I said, that takes a lot of money too. So I mean, man, Microsoft's just doing it big right now. They really are. And I was like, I said, I wanted people that's like, I don't know, I, I haven't seen really too much from them. But now, listen, Bethesda was a good move. But this one right here, man, like they 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 are saying, yo, you forgot about us. Nah, we've been running shit for a long time right now. Now, now you're gonna put, now you're gonna put respect on our name right now. Put some respect on our name. Microsoft's here to stay, folks. They're not going anywhere. Who's say who's say not gonna buy 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 anything buy anything else? But it might it might take some time. But I mean, even next year you might hear something. But Sony, hopefully you buy out Capcom. You, you buy out uh, it's great. So that'll, that'll definitely be a, like a nice uh. A nice counter to be like, oh, you got that, but we got this. So I mean, I don't know, man. Like, they want to say it's about content, but yes, it is about content. But it's like competition too. They don't want to see the other companies succeed. And well, deep down, they want to be the top dogs. But I mean, <laughs> is it? Is it? I mean, they, I know they sell. And there's a little bit. There's love tears. There's love tears. But I'm like, is it really? Is it really love between y'all? I don't know. <laughs> you know, but yeah, man, you gotta get it up to Microsoft. Like I said, I the best thing I think the biggest positive thing is that you know the comp, the employees under Activision Blizzard, I feel as though they will they will have a better workplace environment. I feel as though that's the biggest winners in all of this. Under new leadership, under new guidance. So this is a this is a good thing for the employers. That's the best thing I will say. Cause like I said, I felt bad for those employees under Blizzard. So now we're gonna be under better management now. So shout out to you guys for that. But game wise, man, like I said, it's gonna be tough for a lot of people buying trying to buy another new system. They want to play this game. But like I said, if you have a PC, which a lot of you are have right now, you're good. But eventually, you need that. You, you, you need that. You, you do need to make more space. You need, you do need more storage space. So, but I mean, Microsoft, man, starting off this week strong, starting off this year strong, starting off this year strong. And you know, you gotta give it up to them right now. You gotta, like I said, in terms of like content, that's actually like, like Sony will give you good games. They will give you good games, but like Microsoft, they are they're setting themselves up for like. For generations, with you know, with the Game Pass, I think they got the, this little handheld thing that they're making too. It's almost like look like a like a Switch almost. Um, that's that they got that coming out. Is that buying Bethesda, buying um, Activision Blizzard? Like they are just steps ahead of everybody right now. I feel, I feel so they learned their lesson from you know the launch of the Xbox uh, Xbox One. Now we're like now, nah. now we're back in this. Now we're gonna be like yo, now people are not gonna forget about us. Now we're still around. Not that people did, but like, you know, they just weren't, you know, talking about as much everybody's like Sony, 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 and Nintendo here or there, but now we're back to, you know, to X Xbox being like, you know, the shit right now. And, you know, shout out to Xbox, man. Y'all did a, y'all, y'all broke the internet. I mean, maybe I'm, maybe I'm, maybe I'm using a big word, maybe I'm more over react, reaction with that, but they broke the internet, man. They broke the internet. They're in the big right now, so you know. Let me guys think. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, section below with this, because man, I was not expecting this. Like I said, a lot of their games I don't really play, but I mean, like the Crash, that's gonna be something. Diablo, that's gonna be something. And now, now, now we have a safe. See, like I said, now we get a now we can have a safe environment, making a new Overwatch game. That'll be fun. So. Listen, I'm just really, really happy for the employers now. I really, really am. So, like I said, comment below what you guys think about this. Also, thumbs up if you like this video, share the video, comment the video. Like I said, let me know what you guys think. Because this, this is a big, this, this is big news. 
big, big news. All right. All right. Nuggets sign off. Be sure to follow me on social media accounts, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Be sure to follow me on Twitch where I stream every Saturday. And so does Fridays too. Be sure to follow me on my Anchor and my Spotify podcast where I talk things all pop culture. And always remember, as J. Cole said, there is no such, no such thing as a life greater than yours. Take care, everybody.